Frida Kahlo. She's one of the most famous artists of the 20th century, but she's not just known for her colourful paintings, but also her interesting life story and her iconic style. So let's head in and find out more about her. So Tansy, can you tell me a little bit about Frida Kahlo? Well, Frida Kahlo is Mexico's most famous artist. She was an incredible woman who really challenged, um, I guess, everyday life in Mexico in the 1930s and 40s. And of course, she also challenges ideas of beauty and aesthetics. She was a woman that um, struggled in her life. She actually was in a terrible accident when she was 18 and she was in a bus and it was hit by a tram and her spine was broken. And as a result of that, she had many, many operations throughout her life. So she was in a lot of pain and suffered from quite a significant disability. She only painted about 150 works in her life, but 55 of them were self-portraits. So she really turned her gaze back on herself and painted these amazing images. Frida was part of the modernism art movement, which rejected the conservative values of the past and embraced new techniques and styles, like swapping realistic depictions of people and objects for more abstract stuff. But for Frida, it wasn't just about modernism. It was about Mexican modernism, which began in the early 1920s, not long after the Mexican Revolution, which transformed her country's government and culture. This is a really important period in Mexican history where it goes from a very colonial history, a history looking to Europe for inspiration, back towards looking towards the traditional Mexican history and a celebration of Indigenous culture. And Frida Kahlo embraces that in, in all aspects of her life, not just her painting, but she begins to wear traditional Mexican clothing of the Tijuana women of Oaxaca region of Mexico, and she wears that every day of her life. So she really uses her body and her clothes as an incredible political statement. So how did Frida Kahlo become so, so famous? Really her, her star begins to shine after her death. She died in 1954, she was quite young, she was only in her late 40s. Uh, but then really with in the 1970s, with the rise of the feminist movement, her work became more kind of embraced by the world. We have a home class dedicated to her and she's a really inspirational woman to a lot of our students and artists. And in that room we have a few quotes stuck on the wall and a book of Frida Kahlo. My mum talked a lot about um, her artwork and how inspirational she is and the colours she used. I did know um, a little bit before coming here. And I did learn that she was a feminist and modernist and she was very resilient throughout her life. The two most recognisable things about Frida Kahlo is the intense stare that she has in her photos because it shows a lot of her strength and dedication and also her signature connected eyebrows. Well, I have to ask Tansy, the famous eyebrows, can you tell me about that? It's iconic. Yeah, it's a really interesting thing because it is something that we know so well when we think about the image of Frida Kahlo. We know the eyebrows, we know her little bit of facial hair on her upper lip. And if you look at photographs of Frida Kahlo, you don't kind of notice that as much. So Frida Kahlo is taking back power through her own image and reclaiming her wonderful long Indigenous heritage and accentuating that. She makes the skin tone a little darker, she exaggerates her eyebrows and she challenges us with ideas of what beauty really is. And of course, notions of Western beauty. Now, if you're wondering who this little guy is, his name's Diego Rivera. He was Frida Kahlo's husband and also an artist. And Frida Kahlo was known to say, there were two terrible accidents in my life. One was the bus crash and one was Diego. <laughs> Diego was by far the worst, <laughs> which I think is quite hilarious. But obviously they had something in their relationship. So why is Frida still so relevant today as an artist? She's a woman that died a long time ago, but her work does still talk to each new generation. And I think there's something to really think about with that. Her work is obviously very appealing visually, but I suppose also it's a lot of those ideas around this amazing, resilient woman. She had a really tough life, but she was very ahead of her, her time. She was an incredible woman who didn't really stick with the social mores of the time. She was bold, she was courageous. I think the reason Frida Kahlo is still so big in today's world is because of how she doesn't conform to the social norms and rather than actually go with the norms, she 
fights against it and emphasizes the things that would appear as not part of the beauty standard. She advocated for things like not removing eyebrow hair or facial hair, even though she didn't have quite a lot, she just normalized it and embraced it as a part of her identity. It's a really like life lesson when you look at her artwork and I think it's famous because there's still a lot to learn, especially for the future generations and feminism. Thank you.